there is just two months away and how many mock tests should I be giving? This video is absolute must for you and even more if you have not even thought of giving mock tests because this idea, if it is not there in your mind, then you are lagging behind and I'll tell you why in this very quick and crisp and short video. So quickly like this particular video and subscribe to the number one J English channel, which is your Vedantu J English. This is your physics master teacher, Captain Shreyas. I have been guiding mentoring kids for the past 10 plus years and I have produced top two digit all India ranks in J mains and advanced. Now, whenever you ask this question to some toppers, right? Not every topper will tell you the truth and they will sometimes lie to you also or underestimate and or else overestimate the number of tests. So, as a teacher, my best interest is making sure my kids do absolutely their best and give a fantastic performance in the upcoming J-Mains 2026 examination. So, that is why I am going to give you the actual number which you should be giving, which will also balance your other preparation, revision or maybe backlogs or maybe if you are a 12th standard student, your pre-boards and board exams. So, it's in a phase-wise manner. All right, so I'll show it to you. It's very straightforward. In the first four weeks, starting today, two months are there, guys. Yeah, in the first four weeks is the foundation phase where you give part tests. Now, what are these part tests? So, five, six chapters are combined together and you are giving a test on that. Or entire 11 standard syllabus is separately conducted. Or entire units like mechanics or 3d geometry and conics and all of that together you know there is a test so those are called as part tests the entire syllabus will get covered in the uh, entire test series but it should be you know in small small chunks because immediately if you give full length mocks you will be highly demotivated because what happens is when you are giving your regular class test it is a small piece of information what you have studied recently, you are giving it then and there. But when it comes to recollecting what you have studied two years back or five months back, that's a completely different ballgame. So you need to take it stepwise. So start by giving part tests for the next four weeks. So if you are watching this in the November end, till almost December, mid-December, uh, you know, 25th or 20th, you should be doing that. All right. Now, after that comes next phase. This is the most critical. And this is where a big shift happens because you are moving from part test to full syllabus test. And when you move that, you will find it very different. It's not difficult, but it is different because the concepts, the chapters, everything are mixed. There is no sequence. There is no order. Right. And that's when you realize that you need to have the memory of like within a blink of an eye or within a snap of a finger, you should be able to recollect the concepts, formulas, reactions, everything. So, the randomness is at play over here and you will learn that art slowly in the next few weeks. So, at least spare two weeks. If you are watching this video at the earliest, it is better that you shift from part test to full test as early as possible. But do not hurry until you are confident in the phase one. Once you are in that phase two, you will also realize that how to actually start timing your sections, which subject you should be attempting first, how to probably leave a question or select a question or how to handle such stressful situations, you will slowly get a hang of it. But let me tell you, it's not guaranteed that your score will be on the higher side because you are transitioning still. Phase 3 is where you polish yourself and perfect yourself and that's when you will be giving around 4 mock tests per week. So from 2 to 3 mock tests in phase 2, you are going to 4 mock tests so in a single week. That is just for the last 2 weeks. So basically, you will be giving around 8 mock tests, you know, in the last 2 weeks just before the J mains exam. This is where you will be fine tuning your preparation based on the error book. So, mistakes you would have noted down, what kind of mistakes you are doing, analysis you will be getting. So, based on that, you will be fine-tuning your, you know, strategy. 
and those last two weeks can actually bump up your score like anything and one important thing over here not just the regular mock tests you should give at least one to three actual je means previous year papers as it is like say one of the hardest shift one of the easiest shift don't look at only hard or easy because both have a different mindset and you should be prepared for any kind of paper so if it is easy you need to score really high because everybody will be scoring well so cutoffs will increase in that shift if it is hard you need to know which questions to select and which questions are lengthy and which you should not attempt so the strategy is different that's why you should have theme based question papers also over here all right now it is very important that every time when you are giving a mock test or you are planning your schedule remember the analysis is more important than the total number of mock tests that you are giving one student might say i have given 50 mock tests but if he has just given those mock tests without analyzing it is complete waste i am telling you there are lot of students who have just given maybe around 15 or even just uh, around 10 or 12 mock tests full length i am talking about you know they have got very good all in their hands because every test after that they have spent detailed they have spent detailed uh, they have done detailed analysis they have spent quality time in seeing what went really wrong so that is very important please analyze the paper because it feels very simple when i am saying it but when you actually sit you realize so many things which you could have done better and when you recover and do not repeat those mistakes you will actually see your performance go up okay so that is the number of mock tests that you should be giving in every single week i have broken it down you cannot find a better video than this guys and remember that every mock test helps you manage your time how much time you should be spending per question after how much time you should leave a question after how much time should you actually start thinking in a different way or you should be using some other strategy also what are those weak points is it numeric type assertion reason match the following or is it physics or organic or whether it is mechanics and of course your exam temperament as in how well are you able to remember things are you stressed are you getting blanked out are you remembering things how good is your rough work all these things will improve in these last two months so even if you are at 100 believe me there is a potential for you to reach at 200 so do not lose hope lot of students improve only in these last two months so your knowledge is there maybe you have covered even 50% of the syllabus still you can get 200 marks remember that and by the way there is a very big announcement coming up for all of you yeah so stay tuned on the channel you might find this particular session on the channel go ahead and like that particular video right away right now you will find it right over here yes scheduled for 28th of november yeah this is a very important announcement regarding the test series so quickly like this video and stay tuned for that particular evening when that big announcement will happen so thank you for liking this video and also subscribing to the channel this was your captain shrias signing off assalamu alaikum